Well, good afternoon. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Life's devotional here on a beautiful Monday of life. You know, I was just thinking a while ago about the home that I grew up in. I was blessed to grow up in a good home. Uh, my dad was as poor as Job's turkey, but we didn't know it. We always had food on the table. Always had uh, clothes in the closet and in the chest of drawers, shoes on our feet, and uh, I guess we just had everything that we needed. But I was thinking about, you know, how blessed I was to be able to live in a home where I had a roof over my head and where I could put my feet under my dad's table and enjoy the food that we had. I was blessed that uh, my mother slaves really when I was younger to make our clothes I don't think I ever had a store-bought shirt until I was a grown man but mom always sewed hear, hear the whirl of the sewing machine sometimes into the night hours because she was busy seeing to it that her children were clothed well and I thought of all the benefits that I had as a child growing up in my father's house food on the table roof over my head shoes on my feet and clothes on my back. And isn't it wonderful that we have a Heavenly Father that has promised to meet every need that we have? He has called us His children. As many as received Him, to them gave He power to become the children of God. Jesus instructed us that when we pray, we are to pray our Father, which art in heaven. And God is portrayed throughout the Scripture as a loving, kind, Heavenly Father, who has the best interest of his children at heart. So I'm so thankful today that I can look back on my home and recognize that there are benefits to living in my father's house. I hope that my children kind of look back over their childhood days and growing up years and think about how blessed they were to live under dad's roof and put their feet under dad's table and, and uh, wear the clothes that he provided. Uh, that's what a father's supposed to do is to take care of his children and we did the very best that we could in providing for our family. So I think about how God has given, uh, you know, us the blessed privilege of being one of his children and how God is so good to us in so many ways. He promised he would supply all of our need and certainly while he doesn't supply all of our greed, Yet he does supply all of our need. And so I thought of how blessed I am to be a child of God, how he feeds my soul, how he uh, gives me so much spiritual blessing and meets every need that I have. But you know, it's more than just being a resident of my father's house, more than just taking advantage of all the blessings and the benefits of being one of his children. God also gives us the responsibility to work in his vineyard. And I looked again back over the days of my childhood and thought about how as blessed as we were to have a good home where our needs were met, yet we were expected to do something. Every night after supper, it's one of us kids' responsibility to wash the dishes while another dried. Uh, at an early age, we learned to do the yard work. At an early age, if the car needed washed, we would get a bucket of water and a garden hose and go out in the driveway and wash Dad's car. He gave us responsibility, and that responsibility has served me well because it instilled within me a work ethic that uh, insists that I really haven't got enough sense some days to slow down even and to take it easy. But I do think about how the responsibility of working was along with the uh, benefits of being under under dad's roof. God has given us the responsibility of working in his vineyard. And now in my 51st year, I'm doing the very best that I can to carry out my responsibility as God has blessed me as one of his children. I want to be found as one of his faithful servants in the work of the Lord. Heavenly Father, you've not only blessed us with the benefit of, of a sonship, but you've given us the responsibility of being a servant of God. Help us to be faithful, Lord, as we enjoy the blessings of being one of your children, to also fulfill our responsibility 
of doing what you ask us to do for the sake of the kingdom. Bless us throughout this day and on down throughout our life. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lord Lights Devotional with Pastor Aiton. Goodbye now.